From the two map mine in Namibia, now this guy has definitely two points of display. One point of display would be this particular angle, and you'll see uh, the lovely dark blue Azurite uh, intersected with a sort of a... This may have spent some time in water. Now, usually when you take these bright blue Azurites and put them in water for uh, longer periods of time, this would be years, I guess. Uh, you'd have the, the sort of the glow going out of them. So it's partially crystalline going across. It is actually all crystalline. Just some of the crystals are, are shiny faced as you see here. Of course dark blue. Then when we move it around to this side we have another point of display on the specimen. I would use this as the matrix. So in this case we, we're going around like that. These crystals are a little bit larger on this size side. Of course, from the famous old Sumer mine Namibia, this is a pretty nice angle of display as well. So if you have it lying flat on this contacted section here, going around like this, we'd have this view. From the Tsumeb mine Namibia, Azurite, the matrix, maybe traces of malachite I'd expect, and maybe some Bayildonite as well. Um, this, this is also quite lovely. Look at that angle. And if you have a strong light shining across that, you'll, you'll actually see that these azurites are, 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 are see-through uh, the gem crystals. And they give almost a blue halo going across the, the top of the blue sections.